Alrighty. Um, want to have a quick chin wag about the Delos conversion SR20 to RB25 gearbox adapter plate. Um, so to take you from an SR20 to an RB25 gearbox, pretty simple. This is an RB25 bell housing on the Z32 slash 300ZX gearbox, just because it's what I had around. Um, well, I guess I'll start beginning. So shows up with all the little bits and pieces that you need. Um, the packaging could do with a bit of work. It kind of arrived like this and some stuff was trying to fall out there. The instructions are clear enough. There are some bits that are slightly omitted. Um, it's, this hand-drawn picture here shows a custom spigot bush that it comes with. Um, this is said spigot bush. It's a well put together piece. Um, the marks on here are from me installing with the socket, so that's not a reflection on the quality of work. Uh, you can see the subtle line in there of how deep it sits into the SR20 crankshaft. Um, it is installed into this recess here. So line him up, bang him in, and sits there nice and happy. The reason this exists is because the adapter plate, which is made of steel, is 10 millimeter in thickness, which means it's going to move the gearbox effectively backwards 10 millimeters, removing the engagement of the input shaft here uh, onto the original spigot bush, which is located here. Actually, this will be a bit better. Here. Um, now, that's all good and dandy. Uh, a problem that I had, unfortunately. So the gearbox conversion states it's just simply for RB25 gearbox, but there is two types of gearbox, which is to say there's two different types of input shafts. Now, the input shaft has this small, so we've got the, where, oh, the engagement area where the spigot bush actually goes on for the input shaft, and we have a stepped section, then we have the spline section. Now in the early series RB25 gearbox, this stepped section here is about 20 mil. In the R34, like RB25 Neo gearbox, and I believe even the uh, later model GTR gearboxes, this would be 10 mil. Um, the reason that's a problem is when I installed this, so it slides on here, uh, what was happening is as I was plates on, all right, let's slide the gearbox forward. The gearbox would slide forward and stop there because it's uh, leaving a 10 millimeter gap between the actual gearbox mating surface and the adapter plate so it just simply couldn't go any further forward because this spigot bush was preventing it from doing so uh, this 10 mil is the difference since it doesn't have that or well, since it has this material means this spigot bush will not work for your application so what do you do then well, I called up Delos Conversions and we confirmed the different gearbox types and they offered to make me a custom bush um, but unfortunately what I would effectively have to do if I used this style come back here, is I would have to remove 10 millimeters of material and as you can see from my measurements here this is 20 mil overall so we're effectively cutting this in half uh, which only gives 10 mil engagement on the speaker bush which I just wasn't happy with so, in comes ooh, the stock SR20 spigot bush. Now, what we had to do here, uh, here's two that I prepared earlier. So, here we have the spigot bush installed inside of the crankshaft. You'll notice that this one is fully installed to its maximum depth. So, it's recessed in there, so it can go all the way back. As you can see, there's an actual lip here. Oh, about five millimeters where the bush pushes in past this face uh, deep inside of there. So what I elected to do was simply install this bush so that it was flush with this set face. Um, kind of making up some of the difference. Uh, I've had the gearbox on now and confirmed the engagement and effectively this bigot bush has been sitting about here which I'm pretty happy with because that's full engagement into the spigot bush itself. Granted, I'd prefer it to be a bit further back, but it is what it is. 
having it there is all good and fine. So great that they supply a custom bush. Useless because I, it just won't work, at least for these early model RB25 input shafts. So, all right, resolve that issue. Guys at the frame were pretty cool about it. It's like, yep, cool, no worries. Let's proceed forth. So, speaker bush installed, pressure plate and everything back on again. Um, slide the gearbox on, happy as Larry. Um, I did have to go out and buy another one of these bolts. So, the kit provides all the bolts you need. So, these big fellas on the outside here, smaller ones that are all countersunk in. The bolts required for the starter motor. The starter motor, you've got to drill the holes out so you can bolt the starter motor onto the actual adapter plate itself. Easy as piss. Um, the, they also provide the gearbox to adapter plate bolts. Um, I didn't have one of them. I don't know where it was. I'm not sure if I lost it or if it wasn't provided, but just grabbed one from a nut and bolt shop. Yeah. There is a small one there. I've got a space it out with two washers because otherwise it went too deep but don't worry about that uh so that's fine both are up again and then i had another issue uh so this uh countersunk section here as you can see has a lip in it so this lip uh which is actually quite pronounced um you can get a nail well on that so that's probably half a mil lip or so um, you can see I've tried to get, I was going to try and file this down, but that's just not economical. It wasn't going to work, which is to say. Um, I don't want to remove this, take it to a machine shop and get that cleaned up. Um, the reason I noticed that is because the fastener, so down here you can see it is pretty flush. Not exactly right, but some of these other ones will look better. This one here is better. So he's nicely recessed. The adapter plate is sitting proud of the fastener exactly what you want. This one had the fastener proud of the adapter plate, which kicked off the gearbox ever so slightly. Um, so I had it all bolted up, had a look at it, uh, managed to get the feeler gauge in here and there was about half a millimeter of room, which obviously is bad because any sort of kick off of the gearbox can affect how the clutch and the input shaft and everything loads this input shaft because if it's kicked over it'll pull it one way or the other which can damage your internals. Um, so I buzzed that off, found this, uh, unfortunately I've just resorted to just clean like shaving some of the head off of the bolt which is currently cooling over there. Um, so I'll sit that back in so it's flush. This one also has the same problem you can see it's, I can get my nail on it because it's sitting proud. Um, Pulled it off, had a look, exact same thing as this. That one's fine and that one is fine. Um, as far as I can tell, that's just shit quality control. Uh, the bit that they were using the machine, this obviously uh, was getting a bit worn out and shit and no one really seemed to notice or care. So that's not a great reflection um, and it's just another pain in the ass. Uh, one thing that was handy, I can't quite, I might get you behind here. So there is uh, uh, this metal piece here. Normally this bush itself is sitting fully against the car section here for the throw out bearing. They've supplied a spacer here to try and make up some of the distance. So obviously 10 millimeter here, trying to bring that back a little further forward for better pedal engagement. Yet to have this obviously in the car to test it, but I like the idea in theory. Um, one thing I definitely had to do they mentioned the instructions. The instructions are fine, um, but so well, two things I had to address, uh, plus an additional step that I threw in for my own sanity. One thing I had to address was the spigot bush. The second thing was this dowel here. So there's a dowel that's on the extra adapter plate. This one comes through in the block. Um, this was fouling against the gearbox. So I had to get in under here. Uh, and do a little bit of clearancing. Just just a little bit. Which, no big deal. Um, you can take plenty of material around there, it's fine. But that was just a pain in the ass, which wasn't stated in the steps. Um, 
And then with the starter motor here, um, it mentions that sometimes you need to put the gearbox backing plate on to move this adapter plate out to ensure that the starter motor is meshing correctly against your flywheel. Um, I uh, I just put a starter pack on this, bridged these powers over, and then just checked where the engagement was as this came out, and I was pretty happy. Um, so I don't need it in my case, you might need it in yours. Uh, but yeah, so overall, um, it's fine. I just didn't like the the kit is fine. So the instructions are fine, minus the step about clearancing for the dowel and the step for the spigot bush to kind of confirm what the story is with that. Um, but this just kind of being a bit on the piss is a pain in the ass. Not a huge end, like not a huge drama, but just annoying. I'm not a machine shop. I'm just a dude. So having to do other bits like that to make sure it sits right. If I wasn't really paying attention, I would have just missed that. So I'm glad I, glad I look closely. Um, otherwise it's fine, it's doweled, which I like. So it's got dowel there, a big sturdy one there, um, which is good. I actually quite prefer having dowels on these things, just stops them because any drift car -y stuff the more reinforced this gearbox is to stay in place, the happier I am. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. Uh, the boxing could be much better. Um, the instructions are fine. This is kind of hand drawn on. Hopefully, this gets amended to uh, say what the bush is for what series. I did talk to them about that, and they were pretty cool with it. Um, I just got the basic kit, not the premium kit. Um, not that I expect my different, or my problems to be different. But yeah, just wanted to give a bit of a chin wag on this kit. I didn't see too much online for it, so I wanted to have a chat about it. Um, hopefully now I can get that bolt put back in. Reinstall this for the last time and then get it in the car and see how it feels. Yeah, just a little fiddly. Not a, not, not a huge pain in the ass, but it has set me back two or three days now, just faffing about with the spigot bush and just generally being a bit of a pain. Yeah. Uh, if I get any more information, I will let you know. Have fun.